Hi guys, this is Sadek from Broadband.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fetch the latest Voltage OS ROM based on Android 16 onto Poké F5. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. So first off, get the Android SDK platform tool for my article. Start them onto your PC. You can do so anywhere you want. In my case, I've done that in C Drive. As you could see, there are five platform tools. Anyways, moving on. Now please enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone's bootloader. So let's not enable both the toggles. For that, go to the settings menu, about phone, and type on OS version 7 times. Then go back, go to additional settings, and from here, go to dev options and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. OEM unlocking and the USB debugging. Now, check mark, I'm aware of all the risk. Then tap on OK after waiting for 10 seconds. And with this, the debugging now enabled. You might get one more prompt. So again, tap on OK. Let me show you the second prompt. And now let's verify the debugging. So for that, open the CMD window inside the platform tools folder. Type in CMD in the address bar, hit enter. Now type in ADB devices and verify that you're having an ID. As you could see in our case, we are getting this ID. So moving on, you now have to unlock the phone's bootloader since you are connected on HyperOS. So there exists a HyperOS exploit to get the job done. In HyperOS 1 Android 14, you can use the hyper exploit approach. Let me show you what I mean. The hyper exploit is this one over here. But in case of, I guess, Android 15, the HyperOS 2, this approach might not work. So there is one more method by which you could get the job done. I will link that approach as well. So just give me a second. So I guess this should be somewhat here. This is the update 6. So this is one more approach which will work on Android 15 HyperOS 2. This might work. So give it a try and let me know. Anyways, once you unlock the phone's bootloader, let's move on with the next step. Now you have to get the ROM zip file. So get it from here, the Voltage OS, the ROM file from here. And also get the latest firmware for your phone. The firmware is this one for your region. In my case, it's the India build. So it's this one. So V is the Android 15 Vanilla ice cream. MR is the device code POCO F5. Then you could see MI is the region global. I in India, C in China, EU, Europe. For now, using the India. XM is the, the code for the firmware, which is the same for all the Xiaomi phones. Anyways, once you've got the firmware and the zip file, let's move on with the next step. Okay, just let's get these firmware zip file, flashable firmware. This will take a few more seconds. And with this, we have got the firmware onto our, phone, onto our PC as well. Just let the start download button. And next up, you have to boot the phone to the fastboot mode. For booting the fastboot mode, simply type in the command of ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. The phone should now be in the fastboot mode in a few seconds. So let's wait for that to happen. And once it's in the fastboot mode, type in the command fastboot devices and verify that you are having an ID as you could see over here. If you're not having any ID, then please install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. Once that is done, you could also install the drivers from here and then right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. Expand the Android phone section and verify your phone should be shown here as follows. That's all well and good. Then let's now start off by flashing the recovery file onto our phone. So first and foremost, get the recovery file from this link. Okay, we are done with the first step. The second step is also done. The third step is also done. Get the recovery file, download the boot version, the recovery and not the boot version. It should be the recovery version from here. This is the first one and this will work on Android 16 as well. So the recovery file will be something as follows. Let me show you. The name will be something along the following lines. The recovery version for the POCO F5 should be the SKK is the dev name. So copy it and paste the recovery file over here. Rename it to something shorter. So let's rename it to TWRP. And now let's flash the file onto our phone. So for that, type in the command of fastboot flash recovery TWRP.img. You have to flash the file across both the recovery A and the B slot. Simply use this command. Hit enter key in the recovery A and the B slot. The file is now flashed over both the slots. Now type in fastboot, reboot, recovery, hit the enter key. Should now be inside the PWRP recovery in a few more seconds. And once you're inside the recovery, your first course of action. So do our phone formatting. This will wipe off all the phone's data. So go to the wipe section. And from there, do the, do the phone formatting as well. So go to wipe, format there and type in yes. Enter blue check mark. The formatting is now complete. Now go back again, go back once again, go back, go to reboot, choose recovery. This will remount the phone's data partition. And once that is done in the meantime, copy the recovery, the 
firmware and the ROM files from here and transfer the files inside the photo of platform tools which are over here and once that is done your phone is shown here and you could access the storage in my case I can easily do the access of the storage so simply now copy both the files and paste the file on your phone the firmware and the zip file and the ROM zip file but in your case let's suppose if you're not able to access the files on your phone storage in that case simply you may use the adb push command to get the job done so type in adb push first off rename the file to something shorter so rename the firmware file to let's say fw.zip and the rom file to let's say rom.zip and now you may transfer the file by adb push command type in adb push file name fw.zip space forward slash sd card likewise adb push file name rom.zip space forward slash sd card and both the file will now be there onto your phone in a few seconds you may use the adb push command the usb OTG if you have uh, or you may simply use the mount and then do the file copy paste via the control c control v that's the most easiest one but that will not work across all the phones if it's working for you well and good or else use the usb otg or the adb push command but it's not advised to use the adb side load that might lead to some issues so please skip that so with that said we have now got both the files so first off flash the firmware zip file let's go to the sd card directory and over here tap on the firmware file swipe to flash this will take around four to five seconds for the file to be flash it's the firmware file it's not flashed now go back choose the voltage file swipe to flash the flashing will now start and take up to around four to five minutes so let's wait for that to complete so guys the file is now flash so your last action is to do a phone formatting once again is again compulsory so go to wipe format data type in yes hit the blue check mark and you might simply ignore all these warning signs that's all normal nothing to worry about once the phone is done formatting tap on reboot system the phone will now go to the os do keep in mind that the first booting up will take up some time that's all normal from next time that will not happen so let's at least wait for the boot logo to appear or the boot animation that will signify that the flashing has been done successfully and they might now appear in around i guess 8 to 10 more seconds and after that we'll have to wait for the rom to boot to the setup screen then we will do a rom setup and then boot to the os all this will take around 40 50 more seconds but first let's at least wait for the boot animation to appear and that will be the sign and as you could now see we have got the voltage os it's quite a nice animation the flashing is now done and we will have to keep a track of around few more seconds for it to boot to the os well that was fast just a second i guess we didn't have any setup screen okay it's a vanilla based rom there is no g apps if you want to flash the g app package then you'll have to once again reboot to the recovery and then flash the g apps this will take only a few more seconds so for now it's, let's skip that because we haven't flashed the g app if you want you must simply reboot to the recovery if you don't have the recovery file installed then simply boot to the forward mode from the forward mode once again use this use the same command flash the recovery file onto your phone and then simply go to install choose the gapp zip file and flash it and then you will get the gapp packages so it's a clean stock os build for now and few pre-installed apps such as the bcr which is the automatic call recording app firewall app might come in handy for me that's quite great to see and what is backup okay let's see start new i don't know which app is this recovery code i guess it's their own app because i haven't seen this app till now seed vault okay this is the seed vault app whether it's there on play store or not let's see once seed vault backup and restore okay it's an open source app that's quite great to see so now i can use it with ease you could have a look at all the files it's an open source app and get the apk file from here as well seed board that's the same icon so you could read everything for the file from here anyways for now apart from that let me first show you this is the ui for the new qs tiles the brightness that is currently the old one it's normal i guess nothing to worry about but let me show you if i can currently okay you could see this is the android 16 style brightness slider it's a new one but that's not a major cause of concern let me show you once again this is the new one but i guess both will work for now it's not a major deal breaker you have a new qs tiles the setting menu is also the new one then if you have a look at the sections you could see they have their own separate sections the toggles are also new one that's again quite great to see and it has its own section for the power hub status bar theming you may change the setup bar items show or hide them apart from that add clock and date am pm styles as well battery settings show the battery styles 
show the battery percentage which is quite important for me the 4g icon LED icons in the theming section you must change the color source accent color let's say the blue one and apart from that lock screen theming power menu access on the lock screen miscellaneous this is the most important part okay this is the one component spoofing then integrity fix okay in this let me show you this okay this is the file select keybox xml file using this option you may upload the keybox file and pass the strong test as well you may now even use the revoke or ban keybox file to pass the strong test simply have a look at my article this is the one the first approach the just the five steps are required and after that we will pass the strong test even using this a ban file or you may simply use this plain integrity fix and you will pass the strong not the strong but the basic and the device test for passing the strong test this is a must and you may also enable this toggle google photo spoof this is required for me and the snapchat okay just keep in mind that don't enable the play store and the photo at the same time because in case of the play store and the tensor this will spoof the phone to the pixel 9 series whereas the google photos and the snapchat for the pixel xl so you could only have a pixel xl or the pixel 9 series at one time that's quite obvious so i'm using the pixel spoof for now and apart from that the buttons power menu advanced restart is there okay let me have a look at that fast boot system ui recovery that's all is there okay just a minute okay it's all there now that's fine and you may also have a look at the wallpaper and style from this section you may change the wallpaper and change the theming engine from here apply new colors to the themes enable theme icons change the aggregate size 6 plus 6 is the maximum but 5 plus 5 is the one which i use always icon in the status bar there are quite a lot of options this one looks quite nice so let's stick with this one only then you have the font size okay let's choose any manual one this one looks nice and apart from that the home settings icons if you're using a third party icon you may apply it from here as well home screen home screen double tap to sleep that's working double tap to wake is also working it will first take you to the OAD, AOD and from the AOD screen you may then get the job done app drawer theme icons enabling the app drawer but it will first have to enable on the home screen as well only after that it will be enabled in the app drawer so let's enable it here as well you can now see it's enabled for the clock and camera it's not there it does not look quite nice to be fair and let's turn them off for now then apart from that the recent app screen currently is empty okay and miscellaneous tweaks allow home screen rotation that's it okay there is one uh, nifty you could say easter egg let me show you that as well so go to the set settings menu on your phone from the settings menu settings okay okay it's inside the settings menu go to about phone then android version which is over here and android version once again and tap on it few times now long press on this icon and now in android 16 you also have a let me show you the new autopilot mode this is at the bottom right autopilot tap on it you could also keep a track of this from the notification section you could now see it's currently reaching the destination you have the estimated time of arrival and the distance remaining as well and once it reaches here you will get a new message every time also you will now you could see a flag as well in the menu over here you see a flag being flirt and flirt so let's keep a track and it's only a few seconds remaining four seconds at the very max you will get a new sarcastic message every time and the flag will be shown as well so let me just show you that and it's done and dusted you could now see the message is holding peering calls for the from the cats obviously and the flag is now over here and we have won the test you may also turn it off and required and again get the job done from starting so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching